reports from civilians, why are they not acting on those reports? And I've got an opinion on that. So now we've identified that during the advance, something changed. During the advance, the, the site server. Right, we know the counter snipers were zeroed in way before this guy started shooting. They were zeroed in on this particular threat by, by crooks, right, for a long time before they finally take him out. So they saw him, they were zeroed in on him, and they deliberately chose to allow him to shoot Donald Trump. So on whose orders did they allow the assassination attempt at Donald Trump? Survey, the recon, the, the protocols that would normally go in place would dictate those sniper positions, and this was in fact a sniper position, exactly. would have been covered. Yeah. I mean, it Park, happened. At least occupied, park somebody's ass up there. Park somebody's ass up there, certainly cover it for, by the, the guys on the peak, uh, on the roof behind Donald Trump, because there were no other promontories. If you look at the photograph, there were very, very, right. very few places in a 360 degree range of view that you could take a shot from. And that was pretty much the only one. So something went terribly wrong securing the sniper positions. Okay, so either something went terribly wrong or something went terribly right for the people who were trying to assassinate Donald Trump. That turned out to be the reality of this attack. That's the first thing. The second is, how could this many people see, how many? Could, how could this many civilians see a man, I believe he's wearing camouflage pants based on photographs. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> carrying a long gun during an event at a, at a fairground. Right, it just beggars the mind. It, it, it's so incongruous that law enforcement would not notice and deal with a character like this that you, that the mind naturally inclines to, okay, the law enforcement were all in on a plot to assassinate the future president of the United States. That's how the mind naturally works, not saying that's true. It's just that the mind has an impossible time taking in this staggering level of incompetence. Around, walking across the field from his van to the building and nobody interacted with that person. That's almost impossible to believe, but that, yeah. that also happened. Now there's video of a ladder. How did that ladder get there? Was it a ladder the maintenance for the building was used to work on the air conditioning systems? Was it a ladder that was placed there ahead of time? These are the, the elements that lead to so many theories because every, if he did go to the magnetometers, why wasn't he stopped? Uh, if he did have a van full of IEDs, and that's speculation at this point, but that's certainly been mentioned, uh, and he parked it, rifled, and walked across an open field, and that's a big open field. From where his van was, and this is all now online, from where his van was to that building, that's a big, wide open walk. Yeah. Flat. Who put the ladder there? He didn't right. carry it in at the time. He might have pre-staged it, or maybe it was a maintenance ladder, but how did he know it was there?